Hey everybody, how we doing today? My name is Michael and welcome to Misfits Adventures. Hey, we're going to open a box today and it's going to be pretty fun. But first, you guys know what to do, right? Go ahead and go down below. Give us that big like. After that, subscribe. And after you subscribe, go ahead and ring that bell. Then you get notifications each week that we have a video. Hey, I'll be right back, okay? All right, guys, uh, a couple weeks ago, we did an, unbox a pair of speakers or some speakers that we uh, bought for the computer uh, for an entertainment system. Uh, those are working really well. And this time uh, we're going to be opening up a box with a drone in it. Uh, my drone, I was getting sick and tired of it not working. Uh, it ends up being the controller, so I'm going to have to get a new controller for it probably later on. But they had some good deals on the Amazon uh, July 16th through the 18th sales. And I went ahead and bought a new DJI. Uh, it's going to be the Mini 3. It's a really nice little drone. Uh, there is no sensors in it. Uh, it doesn't tell you if you're going to crash into a tree or any of that stuff. So there's no avoidance like my other one has. So no, it doesn't have any avoidance system like the other drone. Uh, the other drone that I have was $899, and I got it at a Best Buy down in Yuma. Uh, that was back in, gosh, we were working for Black Meadow Landing, so it had to be like 21, not even that. It probably was 19, so we've had it for a really long time. Uh, all three of the batteries are swollen inside. Um, they do go in, they do, they do charge. I'm afraid that they're going to blow up sooner or later. So I don't like using it as much. Um, I've never overcharged batteries. I put them on and I sit and watch them, literally like right on the table next to me on my desk. And I watch them uh, when they're charging and it, when the light goes off, hey, I take the battery off. Uh, these are smart, intelligent batteries. I don't know how intelligent they were that they got uh, like almost twice as big as they were before. Uh, but uh, yeah, they're supposed to be turning themselves off. Um, the battery pack that I have for that one, let me tell you which one it is first. It is the Air One. It's the first Air. Uh, it is the Maverick Air. Uh, it looks like a, a mini Maverick is what it looks like. If you know anything about the DJI series, Mavics was the uh, kind of like the second one they made uh, for consumers. Uh, it was the one that folds up. You could take it with you anywhere. Well, they made one a little bit smaller because people couldn't afford the, like the $1,600, $1,700 for uh, the drone and the, and the remote and some batteries for it. So they made this Air, which was, I thought, a really nice, nice camera on it and nice drone. Uh, but the only problem is the controller pretty much sucked. Uh, you have to take your controller, you have to either put a phone or a tablet on it, uh, then you have to use wires to go from one to the other, and you're going to need wires to connect everything. Um, it just got to be a mess, you know, and every time I went out, if something didn't work right, um, it, maybe I didn't, uh, the SD card wasn't cleared properly or something, it wouldn't work. That was like, oh, a couple years ago, uh, but literally we got it and it wouldn't work after I don't know, maybe like three or four months of using it. Um, and I found out the SD card was corrupt. I threw the SD card away, got a new SD card, put it in it, formatted it. Hey, it worked fine. So I've had nothing but problems with that drone. And all I really want is a drone that I can get out, small, put it up in the air, see what I want to see up where I'm, where I'm uh, trying to figure out, you know, what's going on in the area and different things like that. And I want to show you guys, you know, well, it just takes too much for me to get that drone out, to set it up, to do all this crap. Um, so the drone I bought is the Mini 3. It's not the Mini 3 Pro. Mini 3 Pro actually is like the Mavic Air in the respects that it does have avoidance systems. It has a bunch of other stuff it can do. Um, I'm fine with what I got for right now. Uh, the biggest part of it all, it came with a really nice controller. Uh, the controller that it has before, you had to put your phone on. This one has a monitor. 
I think it's like a 5.7 inch monitor. I don't know. We'll, we'll look at that and check it out when we open it up. But yeah, so we had to have a box. I, ha I mean, I had to have a, uh, I had to have a monitor on my controller um, and I knew they made them. So the other thing is, I'm thinking it's not going to work, but you know, you never know. Uh, they say it works for some of the Mavics and some of the Airs. That controller hopefully will work on the Air. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm fine with it. But if it works, that would be awesome. I could use both of the, uh, the uh, drones. Otherwise, I might get rid of the other drone, but I'm not sure. It does a lot of things that um, different conditions, let's put it that way, uh, would be nice to use it for. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this box up for you guys. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah. So all right, guys, I'm going to do this on the uh, bed here because I have no other place to do it other than outside. And outside right now, people are leaving. So I went ahead and opened up the box a little bit just to show you guys. So here is the drone in here. It is the Mini 3. Uh, they're pretty much discontinuing these. They already have a Mini 4 out. Uh, Mini 4 Pro and Mini 4. Uh, you can see the sweet little remote that it's got here. Uh, that is awful nice. Let's go ahead and get this out of the box. How's that? So the Mini 3 is what we got. Uh, box is pretty plain. Whoops. Box is pretty plain. It tells you a little bit about everything here. I don't know if you want to see that. And, uh, here's what it looks like. So this is the Flymore package like I bought with the other drone. Uh, the the uh, blades are a little bit different, propellers. Gives you three batteries, a charger that charges three batteries. This Boss controller, I'm telling you, I'm really liking this controller. Uh, I've seen video of it and it really is something else. It's really nice. And then the drone with it. So the drone light weighs less than, uh, less than a pound. It's like three quarters of a pound, if that. So we're going to check all this out in just a couple seconds. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right. Open this up here. Uh, it's got some nice codes in here like they normally would have. It's a fly more. We're going to see if this comes open. There we go. Comes in a nice little bag. If that's not cool, I don't know what it is. Uh, it's got some pockets in it, I can tell. Let's go ahead and... Uh, see what's in this pocket. Nothing, nothing. So I can put uh, stickers or something in it as we carry it. Yeah, this is going to be easier to carry anyways. All right, let's turn it around this way, show you the other side of it. All righty, and then uh, we will open it up. All right, so we opened it up. Everything's in plastic. Uh, this is the controller. Check that out. That is pretty cool. Um, also, let's put this up here maybe. Uh, let's see, here is all three batteries. Check that out. Here's three batteries and the controller. Let's see, put that up there. Let's get it out of this plastic maybe. How's it? All right, so we got a controller, we got our batteries, controller and batteries. All right, so here is the drone. Like I said, this thing weighs less than a pound. Um, totally different propellers. Uh, you can see there's different propellers on each back and front. Let me go open this back up again and I'll show you. So that's what the drone looks like. Uh, these propellers are not straight all the way around propellers uh, a little differently. Uh, you can see that is where the on and off switch is. This hole right here is where the batteries go uh, underneath it. Um, they said that this uh, doesn't heat up as bad as the others because it has a lot of wind holes. So this right here and the other one on this side is not avoidance like it is on the other ones. This is just for wind. It brings the air through it, cools off the motors, and cools off everything inside of it. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's the drone right here. Um, yeah. All right, so we've got our drone uh, inside the bag also. Let's see what's in the top or in the sides inside. Oh, it gives me a cable. 
gives me some flying instructions, which is online also. Uh, ooh, there's something in the top of this thing here too, so I'm gonna open it up. Oh look, here's some more stuff. Gives me a um, screwdriver. Here's one set of blades in the back, one set of blades for the front, and I don't know, a random set, I guess. Uh, we got right there a couple plugs for it to plug in from uh, USB uh, C to USB C, so that would be for the controller. Uh, this one is a charging one for the charger, so it has a large USB and it goes in. So this will go into here, charge here. So here are all the propellers, so they give you some extras of it. Uh, they give you three packs. There seems like to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So they give you twelve uh, propellers on it, so that's not too bad. Yep. So this is pretty much what comes in, in the kit, the Flymore package. You get the three batteries. You also get a controller. You get the drone. You get some extra blades, which aren't, uh, I don't think, too expensive. And then uh, you get all these. You get the uh, charging cables and the cable that goes into your uh, goes into your camera, or actually goes into your controller and into your uh, phone. That's what that does. And some instructions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all charged up, and we'll go ahead and try to fly it. That one looks like it's uh, trying to say something to me already, like "Hey, I'm okay." Uh, but you can see it needs to be, uh, yeah. These are the DJI batteries, uh, the 249s, Gs, uh, so that's grams, obviously. Very, 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 very light batteries to begin with. Uh, they last a good 20 minutes, they say. Now that depends on the wind and speed I'm going and altitude and all that stuff. But yeah, so when you're flying a drone, you really have to make sure you have all your settings right. So I have, I'm gonna set this up like I did the other drone, the uh, Mavic Air. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one and I'm going to make sure that it does uh, exactly the same thing as the other drone did. So I only want it to go so high, limit that out. I only want it to go uh, so far right and I want the battery to go down to like maybe 30 percent 32 percent and I want it to say hey you might start wanting to think to come on back home uh, it does have that feature on it which is pretty cool and we'll go over all the features when we start to play with it but I think what I'm going to do first is I got to charge it all up make sure it's all good and uh, then I'm going to come back and we'll start to uh, go ahead and, and uh, playing with it and everything and then setting it up and I'll show you how to do that all righty I'm going to have love this. I, I know I'm going to love it. It's already it looks so much easier uh, to use this controller uh, instead of having to take your phone and putting your phone up on top and hanging it off of it. Uh, they have a nice place right there are the thumb screws right here. Um, those thumb screws will go into here when I'm ready. And yeah, so it makes a nice, uh, oh, a nice thumb control. Uh, we have three different uh, settings on it. It's C, N, and S. Normal is the middle setting. C um, is, to me, is like cinema. It's uh, the cinema mode on the other one was pretty much like a slower mode, and it made everything look better, unless, unless you like the fastness. And then the S is for speed. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and charge all of this stuff up. I think I'm gonna love it. Uh, right there is where the SD card goes. We're gonna have to get another ST. Uh, so it takes two SD cards. It takes an SD card in here, and then I'm sure it takes one right in back over here someplace, or yeah, right there. Uh, it's upside down, but you can see right there where my finger was, that little slot right there. This slot is for, I have no idea, I have to read it, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, charge it all up. I have to go to work today in a couple hours, so I'm going to try to figure all this out, and then uh, tomorrow morning I'll come back and uh, we're going to try, to try to get it all together and uh, take off and see if we can fly it, see if we can set it all up. 
So we'll do that uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, meanwhile, like I said, I got to get ready. I got to go to work in about another 40 minutes. So, all right, guys, uh, I'll be back. For like a couple seconds. So it's the next day. Uh, I went ahead and I charged up the uh, batteries. I don't know if that shows it. Uh, it should show that they're all charged up now, which is pretty cool. I went ahead and uh, went ahead and got this going. This is the uh, new controller. Uh, this will work on the Air 2. This should work on the Mavic 4 Mini. Uh, this works on a bunch of different ones. So this is really cool. Um, it keeps me from having to put uh, a small controller and then I had a piece of aluminum uh, that went underneath it like about here and then it then it held the, the uh, monitor for my phone and that was a pain in the butt. So let me show you what this one does. Oh, by the way, I'm going to take off the joysticks here. The joysticks are right underneath. Whoop, almost lost one. Uh, go ahead and put these on the front is what I'm going to do. Got a little teeny, teeny thread there going. It's not very big like the other one was for the other controllers. I don't think I can use these. So, yeah, it's fully charged now. Uh, what I am going to do is uh, show you something else here. What's neat about this is it's just like my phone. It's just like my phone would be here. Um, I have GPS. I have everything built in. Uh, I do that. This gets me into where my Wi-Fi is. So I'm on my Wi-Fi in the camper now. What I'm going to set it for is uh, going to go ahead and put it on for my phone so I can use my hotspot on my phone whenever I'm out doing videos. All right, so got that going. Uh, Bluetooth is enabled uh, for, the, for this and the drone. And uh, it says record, snapshots, all that good stuff is on this one screen right here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, connection guide first, I believe. And now it's gonna tell me we're gonna do in the Mini 3. So I'm gonna say, yep, we're gonna do the Mini 3. All right, so there's a lot of things that you have to do first, and I'm going to try to figure out how to do those. Um, one, you have to set the distance for your altitude. Um, whatever the state that you're in, every state has their own. Um, I usually set it for about 300 feet, uh, 280, and I usually don't even go up that much. I only go up about 200 feet. Um, and then uh, how far that you can go. Uh, legally, when you fly a drone, you're not allowed to fly any further than you can see it, which means for me, I can't see it 20 feet away, so I don't know. Uh, so what I have to do is, I have Dion with me all the time, she keeps an eye on it, uh, but I don't like to fly over a distance because if you fly over a distance and it has to come back, especially with this new drone, it doesn't have any sensors in it other than the bottom sensors for landing. It doesn't have the side sensors, so there's no avoidance system in this. So, you want to set all your settings before you fly it, basically. What the settings are going to do is keep it from flying at a certain altitude and keep it from going a certain distance out, which is good. The last one you need to set is return to home. R-T-H. Uh, return to home, what that does is it tells you, okay, it needs to come back to home. Something's wrong with it, and it's coming back. Well, I don't want it to go straight back if it doesn't have an avoidance system on it, do I? No. I want it to go over the trees or the buildings or whatever's around me. So I want to get it up in that area, the highest point, tree line, whatever it is that I'm around. So it goes up and over and down. When it comes down, it does have the avoidance system on the bottom of it, so it's not going to crash going down. It's going to crash going sideways, frontwards, or backwards because it doesn't have those sensors on it. Now, if I would have gotten the Pro, the Mini Pro 3, uh, yeah, that one has a better camera on it, and it has all the functions that my Air had. 
The Maverick Air is the one that I had before this that we've been flying for a while now. Uh, I think it's been since Havasu, so that's been since uh, probably 19. Uh, so what, five years we've had it. Uh, the controller kind of gave out on it. The camera's fine. The, the drone is great. I have the, the Pro Models SDs in them. Uh, they really work well for me, so that's why I use them. Uh, they're 19 bucks for 128 gigs, so I put 128 gigs in this, and I put 128 gigs in this. I probably should put a little bit more uh, so we can use the maps and different things that I can download for it. But I've got to learn how to do all that first. So I will be right back, and uh, we will figure out this, and I will tell you more. All right, guys, so what I'm doing now is I'm updating the firmware. It says it's available, so we're going to do it right now. I got the drone on. I got this set up with it. Uh, it won't fly. It won't do anything until I tell it to fly, so I'm, I'm safe. Um, I kind of like these propellers. They look like they're going to be a little, a little bit better. Um, I don't know. I, like, I, I kind of like the other drone, but this, is, this looks different, and I think it's going to be better flying, they say. Uh, this drone, with the battery in it, weighs less than a pound. Uh, literally, it's really super, super light. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to fly it today, uh, but we are going to set it all up today. I have to go to work today. It's right now 12.10. Uh, um, I've been up for a little bit. I was uh, reading some things about it. We're still real busy here at summer camp uh, at Durango Oasis. Uh, we did get our in, another interim manager in and she's so sweet and so nice. I met her last year and Dion met her last year. She's a very nice lady. Um, she's going to help us get this park uh, going again, uh, which it is going, but we just need some help. Uh, one more person would help out. I might get a lunch now. But anyways, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're here to help anybody out. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what we do. Uh, just as long as we're working and uh, we're making memories for families. That's pretty much what we do here. Well, I'm talking to you while it's 89% uh, I'm doing this thing here. You can see it's like 89% here and yeah, 90%. Woo -woo. So let's get this all this film, film uh, can't talk. So let's get all the filmware downloaded and uh, yeah, we'll figure this all out a little bit more. This is the first step. I have got everything all set up. We're not going to fly it today, though, because i got to get to work. So, hey, check this out. Uh, this is it. Camera looks good. I've got it set up for 4K. Uh, we're going to go fly it probably tomorrow because uh, i got to go to work in another 20 minutes. I haven't eaten anything yet. So, hey, I've got this all figured out. Um, I'll show you tomorrow more. But, uh, yeah, the thing works really, really well. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, let me do one thing here. Let me show you. Oop, go down. There we go. Uh, you can see me. Uh, you can see me on the uh, screen over there. I don't know why. I guess that was too bright or something. Anyways, uh, yeah, so it's taking a picture of me now. It's video. Uh, it's 4K at 30. Uh, frames per second. Uh, the storage on it, I've got a minute and 20 seconds uh, in it right now. I can go up to like, uh, I think it's like 45 minutes. Uh, I don't have a big SD card in either the drone or the, uh, oh, the, uh, the controller itself. So, hey, I'll get one probably by Sunday and we'll be flying it all next week. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take this off. Uh, yeah, so what we'll do is uh, tomorrow morning, now that I figured out how everything works, I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and fly it a little bit and check it out a little bit more than we just did. But yeah, man, uh, it's gonna take me three days to get this thing up. Not really. Uh, if I didn't have to go to work, it'd be done in about ten more minutes. But yeah, I like the way it all works out. Um, honestly, uh, you've got your batteries here. It tells you if they're charged or not. Uh, the drone turns on and off just like the old one so you push down once let go and then you push down and then it goes beep 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 and she's off all right so i got that off i got the uh, controller off let it rest a little bit the battery itself is underneath let's see if i can get it out with one hand here 
yeah. A one-handed one battery move. I'll go ahead and put this back in here. I used uh, this one. I put it back in the right way. Go ahead and put it back in here the right way. And uh, let's see. This one actually has a lot of battery left. So uh, I am going to leave it like that. I will put it back on the charger a little bit later. I will fold these back up the way they're supposed to be. Let this rest overnight. We'll get this done and uh, we'll fly it tomorrow. You'll see. All right, guys, uh, I got to get to work. Work camp calls and uh, Dion's already there. So that's what we're going to do. All right, guys, today is the next day. So this has been taking three days. Uh, yesterday, I went ahead and set everything up. So we should be able to fly it today. Um, I want to uh, go ahead and turn everything on and we'll make it sure it works and then we'll go ahead and fly this thing. Uh, all the settings and everything were done yesterday and the day before that it took, uh, oh, about 10 hours to go ahead and charge everything all up for me and then I went ahead and put all in the um, updates and all the uh, files that needed to go back in it. I think they had a new update for it, they said, so I went ahead and did that. Also the batteries, I found out that you need to do each one of the batteries uh, because they are the type of batteries that are smart batteries, which means that they're only going to charge for a certain amount and one, one will charge that's lower than the other one, like the old DJI did. Um, but these, you need to have an update on them. So there's some firmware that, firmware that I need to do. I did the one that's in it now, so that's no problem, but I'm gonna have to go back in the house later on and complete all those before we fly again with any of the other batteries. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the other drone, the Mavic Air didn't do that at all with their batteries. So maybe these fly a little longer and maybe they, they will last a little longer too. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and lift the drone up, okay? So everything just came up just now. Um, it is actually looking at me. Let's see. Move up the uh, camera here. Yeah. So there I am right there. I guess you guys can see me hopefully. We're going to go ahead and uh, check it all out. Okay, the home point's been updated. Uh, we have it on 4K. We're actually recording right now. Uh, I don't know why it's not letting me do this. Hi, what does it say? High altitude, something fly with. Thank you.
All right, guys, uh, I went ahead and flew it. It flies well. Um, we're going to incorporate this into our videos a little bit more now that I know it's really easy to get up. Uh, the other one, it just was too much. I had to take my phone or an iPad or a, a pad, tablet of some sort, and I had to mount it onto the controller. I had to buy all this other extra stuff. I had to plug it in, and half the time it worked and half the time it didn't work. So when I really wanted it to work, it never did. With the new controller, it's going to work a million times better. Uh, it's faster. Uh, the tablet I had, I don't know, it was so old that it just took forever just to come up. I mean, it was like three or four minutes, you know, and everything I did, it just seemed to lag. So the controller is the big difference of all of this, I think. Uh, the little drone itself is a great little drone. I'm just going to say that I can actually buy another drone later on and just buy the drone because I have the remote control that's going to fly all of them. So that's a really good thing. Uh, I think we're going to leave you today. So Dio and sends her love and everything. You guys, uh, you know what to do first though, right? Go ahead and go down below. Go ahead and give us that big like. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and push that button and subscribe for us. And then go ahead and ring the bell and you get notifications each week that we have a video out, okay? All right. Hey, have you guys been on our webpage, which is Misfits Adventures? You guys got to go check that out also. It has all our pictures. It's got our blog that we write. Uh, the blog for the vlog <laughs> is what we call it. Uh, so you can go check that out every Sunday we have it with our video, okay? So go in uh, Misfits Adventures and check all that out for us. Also, we do have Patreon there. Uh, this is what Patreon does. We got three tiers to choose from, and uh, you guys can join today. If you do, it helps us out immensely. It actually helps us with all of our, our uh, music and our editing software, all the things we have to buy. It helps us out that way to help us grow. So if you want to be a part of us growing, go ahead and join Patreon. All righty. All right, guys, so uh, we'll talk to you next week. You guys be good and be kind. And we'll see you then, all righty? All right, bye, guys.